now it's time to provision your environments. You'll receive an email from Oracle Cloud Admin after you've activated your order and added your new service to your account. It's time for provisioning as a result. You'll need to create an instance, confirm your cloud account, select your data center, and so on. Note that the service administrator selected during the creation of your cloud account or the existing admin to your cloud account should be the one who is provisioning your environment. And Oracle recommends that you complete this step at your earliest convenience. If you lose the email or any other provisioning emails, just log a service request with My Oracle support. In the email, you'll click Create Instance. You'll get to the dashboard to where you can click again on Create an Instance. And in the Cloud Services, you'll select the services for which you want to create your instance. If you have subscribed to multiple services, it is recommended that they all are provisioned in a single environment. You'll verify the cloud account. And then while you're provisioning an environment, say for ERP, if you've already provisioned an environment previously, and now you're in phase two of your implementation, six months, three months, or a year later, and you want to add ERP to HCM or to your CRM environment, then you'll see another tile called existing environments, and you'll just select it as your destination for whatever you are activating at this time. Then you have to select the data center as well as any additional language packs if you need any. You can select any available data center in the region where your order was booked. All available data centers will appear in the list except those that have a capacity constraint. And if you're working with an implementation partner, do consult with them about which data center to select. By the way, if in the future you determine that you want to use a different data center, you will need to reprovision and you'll have to log a service request for that process to begin. If you need to add language packs in the future, that's not a problem. Just log a service request with My Oracle support and the language packs will be added during your upgrade cycle. On the review page, if everything looks correct, you'll hit complete. If you've purchased, by the way, additional test environments, then you'll have to wait for the confirmation that the initial test environment and production environment were provisioned. Then you can provision additional test environments by repeating the steps mentioned previously. You will get a confirmation email that your environment is provisioned. Note that a test environment, one test environment, comes standard along with your production environment and they are created at the same time. But you will create, receive a separate email to indicate that the test environment is provisioned. Provisioning can take up to 24 to 48 hours to complete, so guide yourself accordingly.